I'm talking relationships Worth more than money No time for the fig or the phony Tweezy jump the gym It's so evident Link up with the game I'm talking relationships So we live or just like just a recording? Yeah, we live. We live with it. We live hot, with it. Hot with it. Okay. Hot with it. Hot mic. We live um, with it. Uh, what up, y'all? What up? Um, what, what, what's the what the people? This, this is what we call. So you know what I call everybody that follow us. Um, call I call them the relatives. Relatives. Because if you if you're a part of a relationships worth more than money, you you become a relative. Okay, you I like that. What up, relatives? Yeah, yeah. We're yeah. here with it. And we back. And we can come down episode with it. Episode 16. Episode 16 in the building. Uh. Yeah. Relationships worth more than money. I'm Tweezy. To my left, who I got? You got your main man, Frankie.Creates. Yes, sir. And this, this is crazy, man, because you are the first, the first creative from When Bosses Meet Ooh. to jump on the, on the pod after, I'm number one. after the event. Okay. I've been getting people hitting me up. Like, they've been trying to trying to get on here. And I'm, we've just been trying to coordinate, like, right. how we, we were. Right. Um, but, yeah, man, go ahead. Tell them where you're from. Um, let's, let's know something about you, man. Tell me about yourself. Okay. Well, I'm from here, Virginia. I was born in Fairfax. Currently live in um, the outside of Fairfax, Gainesville, Virginia, they call it. Yeah. Um, family man. Got three kids, two boys, a girl. Uh, lovely wife. And uh, I'm in the automotive industry. I do my side thing or wrote to, let me let me let me back up a little bit. Not my side thing. I'm revolving that into my main thing, yeah. which is you know my photography, my videography, and just content creativeness. So that's where we at with it. Yeah, man. Um, the pictures and videos that I seen from you, man, is crazy. I, and and I appreciate that, man, because I'm I'm probably my biggest. I think every creative is their biggest critic, right? And I've been doing a lot of stuff. Like I've been doing this. It's just I haven't been out in the open like this, you know? Yeah. Showcasing my work, posting like this. Like I got a little bit here and there, but in the back of your mind, you're like, yo, people really going to, you know, they can yeah. fuck with this or not? Uh, oh my fault. I didn't, I oh no, you do what you say. What oh, you okay, want, whatever, all right. Yeah. I know where yeah. we at. What time no, it was? Man, but you know, with it. And um, yeah, man, I was like. Y'all, like, that whole event was, like, a kick in the ass I needed, bro. Yeah. Because it was definitely, like, I was, like, on my way, but this, like, expedited, like, me being, one, consistent, mm -hmm. stepping my game up, and bringing out just the best I can possibly do. Yeah, man. I think, um, like I was telling Kadeem, it's, it's, it's a game changer, bro, because it's, like, <clears throat> think about it like this. If you got... A, a team, right? A team of camera cameramen, mm -hmm. videographers, photographers, and cre more other creators, models, and everything. And it's all about putting the pieces, putting the right pieces in at the right, right. time. And um, with the when bosses meet happens, bro, it's like everything falls into place. It's like everybody was on the same playbook throughout yeah. the whole time. Yeah, and I think it's because it's it's loose. It's not a it's not a structured to the T right. event. It like, hey, flow. you have to be here. You have to be there. You have to be here. Yeah. And I think that's where it really, like, took off because, um, yeah, man, like, it's, it's nothing i ever seen like it. You know what I mean? But at the same time, you building relationships. Absolutely. You know I mean? Like, we connected. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, I was about to say, you and um, Brian were, like, the first two because yep. I walked in with setting up and everything right yeah, there. Yeah, we were setting up. And I was like, oh, they got a whole podcast here? I was like, because I was like, because I do event shoots and stuff. Yeah. So I'm used to like an itinerary right. or some kind of program. So it was nothing there. So I was like, okay. And he was like, yeah, I'm about to have people, you know, do their thing while they're, you know, moving around, yeah. changing. I'm like, Free okay, flow. okay. I was like, damn, I'm trying to get here, you know, because, you know, why not? It's, this whole event is just for networking and growing and, you know, exposure. So right. I was like, all right, let me get there. Never got there, so I was like, yo, I got to link up with you afterwards. Yeah, man, it, I mean, like, <laughs> it was, man, it was crazy because I was telling Kadeem, I'm like, man, this joint flew by, like, six hours flew by, like. I feel like I just got there. That's what I'm saying. Like, we all just was just sitting there, me, you, and Brian. Shout out to Brian, too. Yep. We was all sitting there 
setting up, like figuring out where we was going to be at, like where we going to put our stuff at. And I'm just like, man, like it's time to go already. You know um, what I mean? <laughs> like, dang. And but yeah, um, that's why I was like, yeah, we we definitely going to uh, do some some more work afterwards. Because I know a lot of people wanted mm-hmm. to get on, but they they was, some people were shy. Mm-hmm. Some people, you know what I mean? They ain't know what we was going to talk about. But I'm like, it's relationships worth more than money. Like, Whatever you want to talk about. It's about your networking, your yeah. relationships that you deal with, friendships, everything. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Sports, whatever. About to say. It's all about the relationships, man. Yeah, because when I when you told me the name of it, I was like, relationships worth more than money. I was like, I thought it was like, you know, like, I'm going to be on this couch. It's going to be counseling. Yeah. Like, we're going to be talking about some things. It could be. You know what I mean? That's the thing about it. You <laughs> know what I mean? Relationships worth more than money, <laughs> dog. It could be anything. You true, know what I mean? Because you could, you could be on the couch... You can talk about whatever, whatever that comes to mind. Um, because I don't ever have like a full, like structured topic. I just want to know who the person is that I'm talking to and and what what you do and how did you get to where you are right now and where you're going. You know okay. what I mean? And okay. and that's the whole basis of it. Then when people want to dive in and peel back the onion, we can peel back the onion. You know what I mean? And, that and that's what I that's what I love about it because all the feedback that I have been getting, it's been Yo, I like the way it's free flow. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not like I have to ask these questions. I have to ask this. Yeah. I got to make sure he says this. I'm like, no, say what you want to say. Because I was definitely about to hit you. Be like, on the way here, I was like, yo, anything I got to get ready for or anything I got nah, the topics or whatever. It's whatever, man. Because it's, it it's, it's like I was saying, like we was talking about it off camera about the, the, um, the automotive industry. And you were saying yeah. like how sales, like you ain't want to deal with the sales part. Oh, nah. And the sales part is pretty much what I dealt with as a recruiter. Mm-hmm. It's sales. It's, it's consultative selling skills. You know right. what I mean? And um, that helped me, though. Even though I grinded and, and worked hard, it helped me become a better speaker. It helped me become a better listener. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And when you can listen, nine times ten, that's where your sale is right there. Absolutely. You know like, I mean? is it? I, I strayed away from sales. I mean, don't get me wrong. I have nothing against sales because every if you're working, you're selling, period. Yeah. No matter what you do. Right. You're selling, whether it's directly or indirectly. And um, in the automotive industry, it's just a different kind of animal because I only work in high line. Mm-hmm. So big six-figure cars and trucks I right. deal with. So the conversation is a little bit different. Yeah, different. You're not dealing with yeah. everybody. You deal right. with certain kind of people. Right. They got a certain kind of expectation. So, but um, nonetheless, all the stuff that they teach you in that, and I'm pretty sure they talk, you know, as well in, in recruitment, is that not only how you listen, how you talk, but those are things that I took personally and just was like, this is free game for mm-hmm. anybody that's doing something on the side. Yeah. Or just want to build a business. Right. I just been like anything that they could do, any uh conferences, any yeah. meetings, or anything that we can attend, mm-hmm. I'm there. Like, I'm not gonna level up there. Right. I'm just taking that free information. Just taking it all in. Taking it all in, putting yeah. it towards to, you know, the main goal. Yeah, man. And I, and I think a lot of people don't understand like that part because you might jump into a job and just be like, I'm just here to work. Mm-hmm. But you're using it as how I can enhance my outside extracurricular activities. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And that makes sense because, like Kadeem said, man, we, the things we did in the Marine Corps helped us, prepared us for the real world. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. And it definitely did, man. It's like, because we can adapt anywhere. Like, that's why I can go to any city and I'll be straight. Like, I understand that the neighborhoods. I understand everything and I adapt to the culture. And that's what we was taught. Like, you know what I mean? You gotta know how to adapt and overcome. You know what I mean? And uh, but yeah, man. Um the automotive industry. Let's talk about the childhood, man. Like how how was how was Fairfax growing up? Oh man. <laughs> we moved a lot, and I told Kadeem this. My pop was in the Marines. Really? So yeah, so that's why, you know, oh, yeah. being tell around him, everybody, it was nothing but respect yeah, and love. Tell him bro. Super five, man. Nothing yeah. but respect and love. So uh we moved around a lot from Fairfax to Arlington to Alexandria to Fredericksburg. 
Orange County, but we we been yeah we been some places. So been all so, the whole the whole the whole Virginia. Yeah, man. Um, most of my childhood, I grew up in Bell City, bro. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it was not as bad as it is now, right? But it still was, you know, nice. You know, it was it was all right. You I mean, got we, your, yeah, yeah. You know, I was able to be outside for a bit, but then you know, it was that transitional period where. Stuff starting going downhill a little bit, you know. When street lights come on, it's time to go in because yeah. it's starting. You start hearing things outside now. Yeah, and um, I'm not. I mean, we didn't. We didn't have a a lot, but our parents. My parents always made sure that we was good. Right. And um, we we we've been a lot of places, man. And my main grow up spot was you know, Bell City and Stafford and Fredericksburg. So between those three. It's like, I mean, I feel like I'm still here, so yeah. it ain't nothing that was too crazy, but yeah. I'm still blessed by the people I came across and, you know, the upbringing that my parents did, so. Yeah. What about sports, man? You play any sports when you was? Absolutely. Yeah, what you Football, play? Football, bro. Football? Football was yeah. my, my bread and butter, man, and I played street ball, like street basketball, oh, but. Oh, yeah, got it. You know, that's automatic. Sideline so tackle on a foot street football team. Exactly, man. Yeah. Getting tore up by license plates, yep. running through the street with it. Yeah. Um, I, I I wanted to pursue a career in football, as I think every every dude did yeah. that played it. Um, but the focus wasn't there as you know time progressed and high school came around, start messing around with the women and mm-hmm. everything, just losing yep. focus. You now we keeping it real. So yeah. um after that, um I, I start to to migrate over to see what what do I want to do, mm-hmm. and that light didn't click. To man, prior to I was about at least twenty two. Man, like it took a yeah. while, but at the same time, I you know a lot of people beat themselves up. Like, man, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna figure that out immediately. Nah. It could take a while because you gotta try a lot of things. Right. And I tried a lot of things, bro. And yeah. I mean, some gave success. Some would have probably flourished more if I put more consistency to it. But I mean, I think I think God passed out everything for a reason to to line you up to where you need to be. And since then I just been following that purpose. Right. So you got you just found out your birthday is in September. Yep. Virgo. Virgo. Big Virgo game. Big Virgo energy. Right. How is it, man? Uh as a parent, man, like, how is it? Like. Like what's your what's your version of when you first had that that first kid? Like how did you react? Oh man, when I found out I was having a kid, man, heart dropped. Yeah, because you know, I was I was it was still it was like the tail end of high school, man. Boy, it was hot out here. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, I was like, damn, I got to my parents, you know. Right. Was, she told me, and I was like, fine, playing. So you, you you shot the club up when when you were still in high school, bro. Before prom? No, this is after. Okay, this is after. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. This was after. Oh, uh, this was her last year, and I had already graduated. Yeah, graduated. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, it was a, it was a roller coaster of emotions, and um, number one question is like, I don't even have a job at this point yet. Yeah. Like, what I'm gonna do? You know, and. Lo and behold, that's when I start, you know, sat down with my, my mom and pop. My mom was, you know, figure this out. My dad was just, he hit me with that disappointment. He was like, yeah. he, he, you know, I would say, you know how Marines are, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, they give you that look. And my, I always have this respectable fear of my pop, even yeah. right now. Mm-hmm. Um, but he was just like, damn, got disappointed. You. I'm like, ah, oh, got you. Ah, yeah. that got me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, got uh, but now, you know, time has passed. Everybody matured, grew up. Everybody's cordial with everybody. Mm-hmm. It's dope, man. They like my little homies. Yeah, man. I think that's the dope part about it, man. It's like when you actually figuring it out, man. Because it's it's no rule book oh. to parenting. Oh. And um, me and the girl's mom... We 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 super cool, dope co parents, but it's like you know what I mean. You you had your your bumps and bruises through, throughout the the you know what I mean situation, but at the same time, man, it's like um, kids is what's important. You know what I mean? Yep. And that's how I look at it. 
Yeah, um, man, my kids is they are. It's like the the, the girl versions of me. Yeah, like both of them have have same similar traits that I I have, and then my youngest, she just man, she just I don't know. Like <laughs> I wasn't bad. Like Tootie Tootie took it to like a whole another level of like I don't care. Like I it's, don't care about nothing. It's my world. You here? Yeah, it? this is my world. You just my parent, and I'm <laughs> I'm doing what I want to do. So, but no, nah, man. Shout out to the kids, man. Um. Take me to the uh when you started the whole photography and videography thing, man. Cause oh, like man. your work is crazy. Thank you, thank you. I'm a, I'm a always I have a hundred thousand percent gratitude and humbleness. Cause you know, like I said, it's I didn't see myself going this like this avenue with it. Yeah. Um, but um, I give you backstory. Um, I'm gonna say maybe two thousand. Uh. Man, 15, 16, 17-ish, I want to do the whole YouTube thing, right? right? So, you know, I love gaming. That's what, I'm a big gamer. You a gamer? I'm a gamer. That's how, bro, I, got, that's, I got caught, I got caught on right now. Bro, listen. I was playing, and I'm like, you like, you 10 minutes away. <laughs> I ain't like, trying to get cool. in that session. Try to get it in one time. <laughs> um, big gamer, and, um. You know, the YouTubers I was watching, you know, the Titans in the YouTube gaming space. I was watching. I was like, yo, they could do that. I could do that, too. Yeah. Um, so I just dove into it. I didn't even have a capable computer. And um, I just, over time, grew, got stuff I needed. That people were saying, use this, get that, mm -hmm. play this, play that. You know, had my channel and everything. Um, a lot of the old school people that are still here rocking with me, Yo Frankie J, that was my first. That was your first uh, YouTube name? My first YouTube name yeah. was uh, Yo Frankie J, taking off. I did games, skits, you yeah. know, everything. And um, I was like, all right, let me try uh, on the other side of the camera. Because, mm -hmm. you know, as a gamer and a content creator, you're you're everything. So you're editing videos. Right. You're making sure you, you're looking good. You're in focus. Yeah. So all that stuff just rolled over to me just doing that for somebody else. So um, I was really in, in, in uh, intrigued with videos and like, right. I was like, man, I want to do like short films, music videos. It's just dope like to be on your producer tip and like have something you, like, yo, I, I had this idea, got some people together, we made it happen. Fast forward to November, I had brought a cinema camera um, and I was doing stuff with the church, with my church. Mm -hmm. um, so they created a whole like social media ministry to, you know, everybody need that space and social media. So, you know, sermons and mm -hmm. events, you know, try to get people to come to the church and everything. Right. So me and a couple other of my, uh, my friends and family, like running the social media thing, I was just doing video and one of the ministers came out and was like, hey, you do, like, weddings and photography and stuff, too, right? And she was telling me about this a big event coming up, like a pastoral installation, uh, installation mm -hmm. which basically, to sum it up, is like a presidential inauguration for a church. It's oh, big. Wow. Like, you have people flying in, like, big ministers. And it's called a pastoral installation? installation yeah, where Man, you never get installed. Because we had our old pastor retired, mm -hmm. and we got a new one. So to properly... In Duck them into the church. Yeah. Got to go through this like week and a half long event. So she was telling me about that. We right there after church just chopping up. And I was like, yeah. Bro, I didn't even have a camera. Right. And the event was like a month and a half away. You figured it out though. Bro, saying yes to that put me right here in this this seat right here. Hey man. It's, it's crazy how things happen, right? It, it just blew my mind because after that, Everything just create content like mine. You want to get the subtitles, the split screens, the emojis all inside your content. Head over to Opus Clips, hit the link below, use my affiliate link. Things that haven't happened yet stop you. Facts like because that's crazy. What does stop you? You, you, the only person once you get out of your way, you, you know. It's, it's smooth sailing after that, yeah, man. And and people don't be understanding that. And I, I tell them all the time, like. You you have a relationship with the man upstairs mm -hmm. how you want to have a relationship Absolutely. with him. And Absolutely. then when you got people that's going to 
bring that good energy to you because I'm big on energy, man. Oh yeah, though I feel it, and I, when I walk in a room, yeah, I bring. I, I, I'm big on energy. So like how you were saying, your pastor, man, like those are the people you want around you because it's gonna motivate you to keep going. Yeah. It's gonna motiv- it's gonna motivate you to keep looking and keep searching for whatever you need. And um, yeah, man, that's. That's dope, man, because everybody I always want to know, like, how did you get to where you at right now? And you know man. what I mean? Where are you going? Because man. it's it's a thing. Bec- like, it's this this uh, YouTube that I'm doing with the uh, with the visuals. It's it's to show people like, hey, like we just like you. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. We are just like you. I love visual pods. You know what I mean? And yeah. that's why I was telling you. Uh, I learned that from going to PodCon. Wallow did this PodCon. Shout out to uh, Wallow and um, and Gilly, man. But Wallow did this free podcon, bro. Like all you had to do is show up. That's dope. And, uh, in Philly, and he was giving up so much game, man. And they that's when I found out that the visual is called a vibecast. A vibecast. The audio is what the podcast is. Right. Right. So I was like, oh snap! I'm thinking podcasts are just on TV. Hey, exactly. Like, nah, that's just a, that's a secondary. To the mm. primary, and how you can eat off of this is send it to multiple sites. Right. So TikTok I already got my my uh my clips shoot, shooting the TikTok and YouTube shorts and YouTube and Instagram. So Instagram I do it myself so I can throw the music on there. Right. And um I'm trying to figure out the Snapchat thing now, but the okay. whole thing is to generate hit on all platforms. Yeah. Because when once it once it goes, now oh, you're, you're eating off of those. Yeah, it's all just, off, you know, yeah. little sprinkles here yeah, and there. Yeah, it's planting seeds. You know what I mean? And I is. tell people all the time, I'm planting seeds. Plant seeds, I'm watering them, and they grow. You know what I mean? Granted, some some seeds don't always grow. That's cool. Yeah. You got you got other ones you can, you know. Push. So is YouTube like your is going you want YouTube to be your 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 baby, your yeah, man. You driving um, all traffic from them to here. Yeah, so so that and so I use Streamlabs too. Okay, but Streamlabs is for the merch. So all my merchandise, I use Streamlabs, mm. but I want to use Streamlabs for the um, the times where people like over you know overseas or out of country or out of town, I right. can't they can't get here right. or get to where I can't get there, where we can just do it online. You know what I mean? Just yeah. do the podcast online, but. Even that too, man. Cause like like you, I'm a gamer too. Like me and my boys, I'm about to say yeah, bro, man. We we on the games all the time. Like just be chilling. Yeah, cause that's my that's my that's my little my little safe haven, man. When I'm chilling, I ain't I ain't got nothing going on, bro. Let me tell you, man. Like I, I probably I probably gamed a little bit about a few weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Like, and I was telling my brother this. I was like, man, it's weird playing games when you're not recording it or streaming it. Yeah. And just enjoying the game. And when I was just playing it, bro, I, like I was so immersed in that game where I, I didn't have to interact with nobody yeah. or nothing. I was just playing the what game. What game was it? Uh it was the new Saints Row. Bro. Bro, I, I have Saints so, Row I have, was fire. Absolutely. Saints bro. Row was like the hood GTA. Ex- bro, because it's so I mean? wild. Yeah, it's, it's always so wild. something. And then I like the fact that you can uh you can really soup up your vehicles like how you want to soup them up. Yeah. Now like Cause GTA had like little like limits, you know what mm-hmm. I mean, and it cost too much, it, right? You know what right. I mean? But I still play GTA too. The I girls will love never it, man. not play GTA. Yeah, the girls love it, man. They I'm they go on there and just be driving GTA. around. Just we used to have these GTA series, which I think they still on my brother's YouTube. Yeah. Um. Oh man, just me, him, and the homies just be late night hours, bro. Just wow. And it's crazy, y'all. It was doing that long time ago. Now look how it then blew up. And people like like Sada Baby mm-hmm. and T Grizzly, they got their own like networks where people can link yep. and go into their joint. And it's it's different because on a computer, the whole service and all that. Bro, that servers is crazy. You can literally put every clothing into the game. Yep, that you wet. see out here. Everything we got on Everything right now. Everything we got on is on that game. Spot they just, on. I said, yo, this is crazy. Chains. Yep. All of that, and I was like, man, I hope this new GTA be oh, be it's gonna be man. Eat. I'm waiting, man. It's gonna be like I was so hyped when yeah. they dropped the trailer on it because I was just like, I'm super, I'm super excited for that, man. Because it's, it's gonna it's be like, clean. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, it's gonna be everything GTA needs. I'm to like, be. I'm like, damn. I'm like, damn. So if they got Vice City, they going back to Vice City. Like, mm-hmm. are they gonna incorporate more cities? 
They you said it's, they really, really went all out. Yeah, cause cause on on five, when you do like the um the heist, they got mm-hmm. a new heist. It's like in Puerto Rico or something. Like in some oh, yeah, island. the Rico Bay heist. Yeah. We yeah. tried to do that heist, bro. Bro, yeah. see here's the thing. The I, ain't, I ain't got no team no more to do them. So I be like, man, I I just be like on GTA a little bit. Like I used to be on that heavy. Bro. Heavy, Facts. man. We Facts. should build a heavy because we had a dude that knew how to do the little dupes and oh, we get all the cars and we as, we as soup them up and sell them for a million. And then we was getting, bro, I had like, I think the most amount I ever had was probably like 15 mil See, in the account. When when GTA first came out, it was for the three. And bef- when, it, when the four came out, PlayStation 4, mm-hmm. and they moved everything over, a dude that I, I met on GTA was like, yo, I could take your GTA from PlayStation 3, mod it, so when you go on 4, you'll have basically $999 billion. Yeah. I was like, say less. Yeah. In there enjoying it, bro, for like a year. Logged in one day, got a notification from Rockstar. Y'all, your money has been eradicated. Dang. I had who say, bro, but little did they know, I brought everything in the so game. So you sell it, yeah. I, bro, I was selling stuff for weeks. Yeah. I'm... I'm like, yo, two days I was back up. Yeah. I was like, this ain't nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, like, man, them dupes, man, like, right now to this day, man, I still got a bun- bunch of uh, them little Vespas. Oh, bro. I got a bunch of them in my in my in one of my garages, bro. And then yeah. another one, I got the Burger Shot car okay. in my garage because that was the two dupes. You could yeah. um, dupe them for, uh, it was like a, I don't know, it looked like a, like a, uh, what's the little, the Asian, the Asian car that everybody always, like a Supra. It looked like a oh, Supra. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the Kirin or Kirin yeah. or something like you, that. You can, uh, when you when you dupe it into that and you put like a certain amount of paint job or whatever on it, like you can sell it for a million each time. It was like 900 and some thousand. So like we had dupe all of those free vehicles, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Put a little like 10, 20,000 into it and get 900,000 from it. And we would do that <laughs> back to back to back to back to back. But yeah, man, I ain't been I ain't been on for a minute. I got to I gotta log yeah. back in and find me a, all right, cool. So look, we got another brand, Okazi. Okazi. It's a fashion retailer that specializes in delivering high quality gym apparel. Not only do they strive to bring the best possible gear for the gym, they let you express your own unique individuality. And with that, they partner with me. And if you use the code RWMTM, you will get 15% off the whole website. So make sure y'all tune in, put in that link, put the link below, and let's get some workout gear. It's tripping, or you just be like pissed off. Facts. And then everybody don't be on the same page. It's like, oh, I'm not trying to do this again. Please, bro. Right, it's going to like... We, we, we about to get off, man, because you, exactly. you, you ain't playing right. You on bull. And we'll go find somebody else to play. Right. <laughs> we'll go find somebody else to play because, bro, we weren't, we weren't going for it, man. Like, but that's the thing. I always tell people, everybody has their niche and, and they have their, mm-hmm. their uh, you know, their thing to, to get away. Mine was always gaming, man. Yep. Um, even when I was a kid, like I was, I was out in the streets, but at night me and my boys, we'd be at each other's house. We playing live NBA live or, mm-hmm. or Tekken, whatever it was, Madden, yeah. NHL. And, um, but that's, I think to me, our parents used to get on us so much. You ain't gonna make no money off that. Why you always playing that game? <laughs> Little do they know it's millionaires I, out man, here. Man, listen, bro. When I left YouTube and moved over to Twitch. Yeah. I got affiliate in a week. For real? One week, bro. And I don't know how it happened. Yeah. This was like a few, like a few months before my birthday at a birthday street and got my first payout. Dang. Bro, I'm gonna tell you what not to do though. Don't let the chat control how much you drink. <laughs> wow. The check had you like that. Bro, the chat had me off my ass, bro. I had a I had a full bottle of tequila that I was just you know, oh, chilling yeah. with. Yeah. No, nah, they say you're not chilling. Oh shit! Dang. Every time I look at it, every time I die, I don't even remember what I was playing, bro. I was yeah. playing Fall like Fall Guys. Yeah. Every time I die, bro. Like, yeah. So so like so the so me man, I was a uh, I love action, of course. Mm-hmm. But I like I, I don't want nobody to take this wrong, but I like shooting games. You know what I mean? And that's mm-hmm. why I love Grand Theft because it was like it was just. Yeah. You do your thing. Yeah, you do whatever you want. You can Literally. take a car, you can take a plane, you can take 
whatever, a tank, anything, <laughs> anything you know what I'm saying? You and it was just your imagination or whatever. Yeah. And then, um, of course, sports. See, me, baseball was my my first love, even though I love football. Mm-hmm. I love all the sports, basketball. And I'm learning to love new sports, too, like soccer. Um, but, yeah, man, the action was always, man, it was always GTA, um, Call of Duty, Rainbow Six. Oh, absolutely. Man, Rainbow, Rainbow Six Stitches, is so Rainbow crazy. Six is a staple, bro. Yeah, it was before Call of Duty. It was Rainbow before, Six. Yeah, Rainbow Six. And before Rainbow Six, so calm, so calm. Yes, sir. Bro, Fire team. On PS2, bro. Come on, man. So man. I always tell people, man, like people be like, "Oh, oh he played a game," and I'm like, See. "So, like, you have your own thing. You do, you know what I mean? Makeup. You do. You 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 make wigs. Right. You know what I'm like, saying? Why, like, why gotta be like? Yeah. I, and that's what I think." Like, to be honest with myself is I think I let a lot of that get to me when I was doing it. Because I like, yeah. a grown-ass man playing games, bro. Like, yeah. come on, bro. I'm like, this is where I'm at. Like, peace with, like, like yeah. I'm chilling. I'm like, this is my vibe. And I always and I always tell him, bro. I say, hey, so you want me out in the streets? Or you I could be doing something cold, like totally different. Right. Do you, which one you want? Do you want me here or do you want me in the street? Pick one. Pick one. But yeah, man, it's but it's it's fun too, man. And, and I like that the girls they like to play too, man. And it's like yeah. that's like our bond too outside of you know sports is you know what I mean finding something that you get along with with the kids, yeah. And and um introducing them introducing them to these crazy games because like Spider Man, mm-hmm. crazy on the PS Five, absolutely, um, absolutely. You know what I mean, but what uh what other games outside of um like Call of Duty and Oh man, and, my my number one is racing. Yeah. I was my my Gran Turismo? Gran Turismo, my pop got me the first Gran Turismo, man, for this for the PlayStation. Crazy. It was crazy. Crazy. And then after that he got me the first Need for Speed road and track. Bro, Need for and Speed. Need for Speed has been my this Oh man. They fell off though, man. And you know You think e- so? Well, so EA Sports was the pivotal like company right, for but, everything. Well, people, well, yes. EA was definitely a And then staple. they fell off. Remember, l- luckily, they, college is coming back out this year. They took an 11-year hiatus. Okay. You know what I mean? But Gran Turismo, to me, and Midnight Club oh, was the two pivotal. Dub edition? Bruh. Remix, too? Dog. The dress was crazy. The crate, first of all, by far one of the hardest soundtracks in any game Facts. period, bro. Facts. Like outside of the GTA line. But I mean, it's Rockstar. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. they always have fire. Yeah, they did make Rockstar. I mean, Rockstar did make Midnight Club, right? Exactly. Yeah, Rockstar. Rock, so I just yeah. found this out. Take Two Initiative is who make 2K and Rockstar. So they both fall under them. Oh, really? Yeah, so that's I didn't why know 2K, Take Two was under there. 2K up a soundtrack be crazy, Always too. knew, like, sports games, like, Madden's. Yeah. Like, they always have fire soundtracks. Like, you just be in the menu, just Bro. ready to run through somebody. Crazy. And that's and that's the thing, man. So, yeah, so racing was was your thing. Yep. And, and you said uh, Gran Turismo and Need for Speed Road, yep. was Road and Track? Yeah, that was my first two that got me, like, locked in the racing. Yeah. Um, basically, anything that's fun, um, I would say my runner-up to racing would be, like, story-driven games or adventure games like mm-hmm. action, you know? So, like, the Tomb Raiders. Yeah. Um, the Uncharted games were crazy. And I've been trying to get into that, man. I, been, I think they had, like, it was on it it's, was free. It's, yeah, they it had, was, like, the, the whole trilogy. Yeah, it was free. I was trying to get into that, man. I ain't beat the first one, but yeah. I beat all the other ones. And, man, they are a wild ride, bro. It's like playing a movie. Is it? It's the, it's the male version of, like, Tomb Raider. Yeah, so Tomb Raider, man, like, I used to get so mad at Tomb Raider, bro. <laughs> Lord was... Croft. I loved it though, man, because it was just like, I think that was like one of the free games you got when you had when you first got the PlayStation. Yeah. And uh, cause you had Parappa the Rapper and you had oh, Tomb Raider. Man, yeah, man, yeah. What kick punch, man, what? But yeah, so uh Tomb Raider <laughs> was uh was definitely it was a I th- I like I like the games for the fact that it's a critical thinking. You have to yeah. think with those games. Absolutely. And um one is my favorite, uh, Assassin's Creed. Oh, bro, see, I, I don't think you could ever beat that game. Nah, my brother was heavy in all the Assassin's bro, Creed. I don't think you can beat the game, bro. It's so long, bro. Like it's like 
Like, all right, what's next? What's next? What's next? It's like, <laughs> yeah. I've never seen anybody. Be, I don't even know if you can. Yeah, I don't know either. It's just a forever game. I've seen a real love gear that I've been wearing in some of the episodes. Uh, my guy, Big John, over at Real Love Fam, then laced me with some good promo code for you guys to go and get your own merch because only you can love what you love as much as you love it here at Rare Love. Hit the link in the promo code. It's RWMTM Love. RWMTM Love. You get $5 off on the whole website with that uh, code. Hit that special code, RWMTM Love. And there will be a special collaboration merch with RWMTM and Rare Love connected. So the logo is going to be connected. Stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, it's going to be fire. I played the DLC for Outlast, beat it. Another hell of a ride. Absolute phenomenal game. It's just like, if we had a movie off of that, they would have had to do it right. But if they did it right, it'd probably be one of the best movies. That's dope. Now, that, that will lead me to period, the next bro. question, man. What game do you think would be great for movies? Well, you know they did Uncharted as a movie. Did they? They did. With... uh. I got Tom see Holland and Mark Wahlberg. No, bro, I never. I, oh, yeah, I, I, I thought it was phenomenal. Like, is it on what is on Netflix? It's on, on. It's on everything now. Okay. I think. Yeah, but it was. I I absolutely enjoyed it because I played the game and beat it. So it, it's not direct to it, mm-hmm. but it's Uncharted can be a movie about its own thing because it's literally treasures and you know right. uh, what's that one movie with Nicolas Cage. Uh, but he like not the uh, Pirates of the Nash, National Treasure National Treasure it's, yeah, it's yeah. stuff like that yeah. where it can always be something like, I mean they're still doing Indiana Jones which is crazy which is crazy that, let that man rest right let that bro is, rest that is crazy but uh, I don't even I don't even know when the last Indiana Jones I ever seen I thought it was I thought it was done too I, I saw, saw an ad for it I was like man but yeah okay but, uh, but yeah what, they did what, that what movie game? so Uncharted you say Uncharted but what Uncharted. else Uncharted um, I think man like they did Alien. Well, they actually did Alien was first, then they yeah. did a game off. Of it. So the it was the other versus way Predator. It was Alien. It was the other way around. But, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Some game like it depends, man. Like it's a hit or miss. You got to have the right team. Yeah. Like doing it. Um, yeah, and I think that's so. Of course, you know, Mortal Kombat had their movies and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. Um, they got to have a Call of Duty movie. Oh, bro. damn. Last of Us. They had a movie? It's a series on HBO. They oh, really? absolutely killed that. Yeah? Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. I got to check that out. Yeah, me and my bro, it took a... Well, he he beat it. I started playing it on stream, but I never finished it. Mm-hmm. But I, I watched somebody else play it and finish it, so I know the thing. But, yeah. oh, man. Like, they do, they do like, the game and the TV show side by side, bro. Yeah. It's the same. It's, if not better. Because they took the script writing and the same producer, same writer, same developers yeah. to have them work on the show. That's smart. If Bro. you're going to do it, do it the right and way. And I was like, if you they're, I mean? if y'all ever doing anything, like y'all need to take key from this moving forward like, yeah. and hit it. Yeah, that's smart. Yeah, I think, yeah, they got to do it. They got to do it like a Call of Duty, Battlefield. Yeah. I think if they do that, they should have to do a series, not mm-hmm. a movie, but like a... Yeah. Yeah, because... um. It's so much. Yeah, it's it's too much. Yeah, it's so much because advanced warfare. That that's the only one I didn't really like. Yeah, that's the one that turned me off. Yeah, I was like, nah, I don't know if I'm ever getting. Yeah, you're doing one. a lot of gadgets. Yeah, and all that stuff jumping like, up. Right. What they already jumping in this one, so it's like, why you see? Doing? Yeah, nah. Yeah, like nah. But yeah, man. Um, gaming, videography. Um, what other hobbies do you have? Oh man, it's it's crazy. I was just telling my bro, I was like, man, since you know I'm in this space now, and you know I'm networking, meeting people. Like I got this long list. I got my notes of everything from um, years that I just had ideas. I was like, I'll just revisit them when the time is right. Yeah, I had merch. I'm not. I want to come out with new merch now. Yeah. Yep. Um. So that's definitely gonna be a thing. I'm still working out on what. What it will be, um, I definitely will be doing, like, athletic wear. Yeah. Um, everybody's, like, real big on keeping up with their health and 
wellness. So yeah, man, got to. That's a good market right there. And then just dope, just dope gear in general. You know, I just want to wear my own stuff. Yeah. And that's how me and Kadeem, we started ours. We It was for like, because we always, we rock kick. We love kicks. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, it'd be dope if we had shirts to go with our kick. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And that's how it started. And then we just started just creating more, creating more, creating more. And yeah, man, I seen you in the gym, man. I uh, I definitely got back in the gym last December, man. Because I was just like, yo. I just, you know what I mean? It's a love-hate with me. With the gym? Yeah, man. Because like I, I did it. Like, think about it, bro. I was in the gym for 11 straight years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In the military. That's and, a nonstop that, gym. Yeah. It's like I'm, I'm, I'm running. Then I'm going to the gym. Then I might run again, or or we had this thing where they we did it, run, swim, run, Ooh. where we would run two, three miles, then swim twenty some laps, then go back and run. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Twenty so laps, was, yeah, bro. So it was like, yeah, like, like how many? You know what I mean? And it's like I got. What happened was when when the, when the girls came, that's when I was like, you really do feel the same symptoms the moms do. Like, so I was just snacking away. And I I still was running, though. I was still working out. Mm-hmm. And then it was like, I just like, man, I'm tired. I got, I just like, I'm tired. But Kadeem was like, bro, you should get back in the gym. Because I couldn't sleep. You know what I mean? I had insomnia, bro. And he was like, bro, get yeah, back same. in the gym. He's like, the gym would definitely help you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, it like, like just wears you out naturally. Yeah. It wears you like out mentally, naturally. physically. Yeah. Like this this week for me personally, I have been I've been going good with sleep and my insomnia hasn't been active up for a while. I mean, mm-hmm. like years. So I don't think I'm about to have an episode, but I think just because of I'm just nonstop, like yeah. with just doing stuff. Right. Like, still coming off the high from when bosses meet. Yeah. I just had a wedding I had to do Saturday. Yeah. And then I work Sunday. Then, you know, it that rolled right into this week. Yeah. And so it's like, damn, I just want a moment to just do nothing mm-hmm. and just catch up on, like, everything. Like, I sleep. Just let me get a, a good reset. It, it'll come, man. You know? that's, what I, that's what I learned, man. It's like, you got to know when to just shut it down. Yeah. Because if not, it's going to shut down when you don't want it to shut like, down. Absolutely. You know and, I mean? I, and I experienced burnout before. Yeah, that burnout and is, is you, you really do You crash. don't want to do nothing. Yeah, and, you really crash. And I, I'm trying to not prolong it like it like I had the first time. So it's like, I don't got much going on. Like, it's starting to slow down. Like, I mean, only coming out here to do this. Like, only work Friday. I'm off this weekend. You know, it's mm-hmm. Mother's Day weekend. Yep. Chill with the kids, Mother's the family. Day. Shout out to the moms. Shout out to all the mamas, Shout the mamas to, the moms. to be. Um, pet moms, all the moms. All if, the you, moms. if you help raise something, shout out to you. Mom. Mom. Mother's Day. Yeah. Because you definitely, definitely need it, man. That, yeah. It's that, but it's, it's, that's crazy, man. Mother's Day is literally right around the corner. Yeah. And we, we did When Bosses Meet. And then the damn planning for the next one. Yeah, we've been. Did he he run some things by you? Yeah, he told me what you told him. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. He sent. Matter of fact, he sent me what you what you was talking about, bro. Do you want to talk? You want to say something about it? Hey, listen. He told me. So when bosses meet four, okay? Because I think the plan is here is to make each one just a little bit better than the next one, yeah. right? So the idea is to to do different eras of hip hop. Mm-hmm. So um, if, if you want to just a quick Google of like like the source or Double uh, XL magazines, you know, just showcasing you know the new artists or what songs are popping right now. But instead of that, you know, have creators, biographers, models. Business owners would do something like that. So, you know, running by the boss man. And yeah. I was like, yo, pass this along and see how everybody feel about it. Cause I have ideas all the time because it's just yeah. like when you are creative, that's just what you do. You think that's of what like, it does. I mean, it, you just have these wild thoughts be, randomly. Be running through your brain and you'd be like, that'd be fire. Yeah. So when y'all met all y'all, and I was like, 
this shit about to be crazy, but I'm going to ask him anyway. But like, yo, I got I got an idea. He was like, what you talking? I was texting him to her. He was like, yo, this man called me. He yeah. FaceTimed me immediately. Yeah. Yep. He was like, that's dope. I was like, yep. okay, okay. He, so I'm not, he, you know. He hit me right after, like, bro, look at what I just sent you. And yeah. I was just like, I'm like, oh, yeah, this would be hard. And yeah. I was like, you know what would be even crazier? Because we don't, I said, everybody didn't just gravitate to hip-hop. Mm-hmm. I said, why not make it pop? Yeah, R&B. he would say different, like, categories. Different genres. Yeah, yeah, genres. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he was like, bro, like, how did you think of that? I said, bro, you didn't gave me a concept. I was already thinking. Mm-hmm. You know, I do music. Like, you know what I mean? I'm right. a music producer and engineer. So it's like, me, I always think of those things because it's like, we don't have no magazine no more for real. Oh. Like it's the source been gone. For days, the double XL is still here, but it's like, who's really going to go buy those? Bro, that was my thing growing up. I used yeah. to love going to read the magazine. Everybody did, man. You know what I'm saying? See what's going See on. See who's going that, on. That was our social media. Yeah, bro. that was the social media for real. Cause we was like, oh, Soldier Boy, who is this? Right. Oh, Jeezy. Yeah, I mean, me and me and Kadeem was in Iraq when we heard. Bro, me and him bought the Jeezy out first album and uh Gucci Man first album because they both dropped in 05. Wow. So we in bro, we got like these portable um DVD players in the truck, banging that in the <laughs> truck, bro, while we in Iraq in combat. That's you know what's what I'm up, bro. Yeah, Doing your own crazy soundtrack. With it. Yeah, That's like crazy. Bro. And I be trying to tell people like music is more to, it's more than just music. It's oh, yeah. It's it's culture, it's it's lifestyle, it's how you was brought up. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's yeah. it tells stories. And it's like, even with this, it's tell I'm telling you the story on how I found out about Atlanta. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I had family in Atlanta, and of course Outcast, like, you know what I mean? One Stay of my favorite groups. Stay Shout out to to the Dundon family too, and rest in peace to Rico Wade. Um, but yeah, man, um, that was one of my favorite production teams. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Organized Noise. It still is. You know what I mean? But it's just like so much music. I just can't pinpoint one, two, three exactly. top. Exactly. So many of them. But yeah, man, when that first came out, man, I'm like, welcome to the trap house. In my trap house. And it was like, I can relate to that because I'm from Detroit. I, I have family, you know what I mean? In that type of right. time. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Dealing, doing those things. And I was just like, man, this joint hitting. And then Jeezy come out, and then he Boys in the Hood came out. Like Bro. everything was coming out yeah, around man. the same time, and I'm like, "Yo, that that was my I remember my first CDs I was able to buy. Um, mm-hmm. I couldn't. I'm, I'm my parent. My mom wouldn't let me get in the way. Yeah, but she let me get Snoop. Which so is I crazy. Got, exactly. Yeah. Like, so I got Snoop CD. I got Dre CD. And I got DMX a CD. Those are my first three CDs Dang. that I was able to buy. Like right. these kids don't even know about CDs, bro. We were just having this conversation with my daughter. I was like, yeah. so do you know what LimeWire is? Do you know what uh um uh, what well, we were just like going through the history of like mm-hmm. what we grew up on? She was just like, don't found it. Yeah. No, what none of this stuff is. What is that? <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, man, it's 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 music and to touch base on you, it's like I, that's what got me through high school is I DJed. Yeah, the soundtrack, bro. And that's what I've been thinking about doing. DJ? Yeah, because everybody be like, yo, Tweez, you always, like, what you, like, this playlist, like, I even made a workout playlist, and I like it now because Apple, you can, you can share it to everybody. Everybody can collab and add to it. Nice. Yeah, so you that's can share it. Yeah, so it's dope. And, um, so, yeah, they be like, yo, every time, like, we had, like, the, the first one bosses meet we had, and everybody was like, yo, this playlist hard. And Kadeem asked me, he like, bro, can you play some music and stuff? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, all right, cool. So, you know, I was like the, the DJ, but I, I didn't have no DJ equipment. Right, just you just computer. had the playlist with you. Yeah, I just had my playlist, man. I had my playlist. And then he was asking for certain things. I throw it in. But I really want to, like, learn how to transition the music with actual, like, DJ equipment, mm-hmm. like some DDJs or something like that. Because that's another reason why I don't even really go to clubs out here. No more. I, like for one, I'm older, but two, like I be listening to these DJs transitions. Trash, trash, absolute horrible. And and it be and it, and it's it's like t- you playing top forty stuff, bro. Yeah, you man. know what I mean. Like 
play the real stuff. Like play, that play you know. The people that's in the play club. Play to your crowd. Exactly. You know what I mean? If it's glow really, play some glow really. If it's sexy oh, red, man. play sexy red. But you know what I'm saying? It's like, come on, bro. Yeah, like man. you playing the same stuff. And when I see you again at another location, you playing the same stuff. And that's what that's what I was like, man. I need, I, I want to start DJ. And I don't want to do it to like DJ events. I just want to do it because that's another arsenal to have as a what producer and an engineer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly, man. Just adding that to adding that element of it, cause like I love sampling. Yep. You know what I mean? I love doing doing even with with editing, bro. Like this editing with the with the podcast is just like engineering, adding things, producing. I'm I'm adding clips like for this one, cause we using it off the phone, right? Like, of course, I'm gonna be combining clips, but I'm also adding in commercials. You know what I mean? Yep. Of, my, of my sponsors. It's a whole production. Yeah, it's a whole production. So it's like, I relate to it so easy. Yeah, man. And that's definitely, that's dope. Like, that's real dope because, man, being being an engineer in production is like, just just saying that like, like clean. You yeah. know? Because that is, that is something that is like a one up and even, even doing that and what you know, mm-hmm. To add another thing to your revenue, man, is like a master class to show right. people how to do what you do or right. teach them the basics at least. Yep. yep. And that right there, like just the business stuff, like when you learn something and you go through the every motion to to get to where you are, like, okay, now I'm at a point where I could teach somebody else how to do this. And that's when you really be bossing up. Bruh. That's when you teach then, somebody to do something. And then it's like, oh. Shit, like this dude does he not do this, he not do this, he not do this. What can he do? I don't know. I figured out when I find out. Exactly. <laughs> but other than that, man, like I'm gonna keep pushing it. I'm gonna keep pushing it. I just envelope. feel like it just prepares you for whatever. Yeah, man. You gotta be, man. I feel like uh anything you wanna do in life, man, you gotta figure you gotta you gotta find out how to do it. Yeah, yourself. Yeah. Cause you could be told. Yeah, people gonna tell you all day, hey, do it like this, do it like that, cool. All right, now I'm about to come back with it and be like, why I'm doing it this way? Mm-hmm. Why is it this way? Yep. You know what I mean? And, and then from there. Think of it like this. Like, we all went to school. Well, I'm assuming we all went to school, yeah. right? We all had teachers. Yep. They all taught us something that was like the standard. And yep. we all ended up with our own way of what we were taught. Yeah, how you was taught. And, and you picked up on, you gravitated to what subject touched you the most. Yep. Like, all right, cool, math, boom. All right, history, boom. All right, English. Like, you know what I mean? You knew yep. everybody. That's how you kind of like figure out where you want to go ahead, get ahead in life is from those standards. But you learn to alter those standards yep. to where you really trying to go. Exactly. Because the, the, sometimes the standards ain't the success route. Absolutely. You yeah, know what I'm saying? For sure. But yeah, man. Um, yeah, I always say that. And my math teacher would be so proud of me now. Because mm-hmm. I was a I was a problem in math, bro. Like, yeah. <laughs> I did not. Math, for some reason, was when not thing. my thing. And then they started putting letters with numbers yeah. and shapes and numbers and letters. I'm like, oh, oh, nah. <laughs> I don't know what y'all got going yeah. on, but this ain't for me, this bro. Ain't it. Like, I don't this know what it. happened, but... The pluses, the minuses, I'm yeah. cool with that. But everything yeah. else, I was like, not having it. Yeah, and I think that's where I feel like education-wise, that's where they need to start honing in on the skills and bringing back the electricians, bringing back the Votex. Yeah, man, they don't have shop classes and stuff no Brand, more. Like, Votex, I went to shop class Home and Mac, all that. You know what I mean? Home Mac, learn how to cook uh, breakfast. Yeah, bruh. All that. All of that, bro. They, don't, they need to bring that back because everybody ain't meant for to just go and do book work all yeah. the time. Yeah. But the book work don't never you don't break necessarily it up. get you where you're trying to go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'll tell people that all the time, man. Um, but before we get out of here though, okay. I didn't do it with Kadeem when bosses meet. I always do this thing, it's called um gym gym class. Gym class. Gym class. Okay. G-E-M. G-E-M. Yeah. So oh, what okay. gym can you give? To the relatives out there, um, that they can you know add to their toolbox and help them you know what I mean get tra- you know traverse through life. 
oh man, let me sip some water on this. That was a it's a big one. I know. A big one. Man, dropping gems. I I I will share this with you guys. Personal experience is Do whatever it is that you want to do. Mm-hmm. But not only that, what I really want to say is when you do whatever it is you want to do, don't listen to that voice in the back of your head that says you can't. And I'm going to prepare you for the hard truth is not everybody's going to support you, family, friends. Close ones, loved ones, all of that. Just get ready for it. It would be uh, false love. Mm. They will try to talk you out of it. They will try to say you 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 too old or too this or you really you really want to do this or they they try to sway you. Stick, stand on business with it. Stick to your guns. Stand on business because if if. If you let the smallest voice win you over, your 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 direction is going to change, your momentum is going to change, your energy is going to change, and you're just going to be like, yeah, you're right. You're going to give in. Don't give in, relatives. Yeah. Don't give in. Stand on business on what you want to do and do it damn good. You're Stand going to on. fail, but look forward to the fail because that's when you learn to do it better. That's game. That's a hell of a gym. That was like a few gems in one. You know? Hey, I'll Look, take that, I'm man. a giver. I'm a giver. Hey, man, it's wrong. ain't nothing wrong with being a giver, man. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Got to get a game. Yeah. Got to give it because you can't. If you don't take it, that's on you. It's just out there. Yeah, it's just out there. It's just out it's there. It's just going to stay floating. That's, you know? Yeah. It's just going to be in the clouds, man. Yep. It's in the clouds. So, man, um, I appreciate you, bro, Frankie, man. You, oh, you man. super dope. Appreciate you for having me. Yeah, man. We definitely got to get some more, some more, uh, you know, work in. And you got to be a podcast. It just be. Right, bro. Whatever. Stuff and everything. Um, But yeah, man, I appreciate you coming down, man. Taking that ride. Oh, man. That ride from Chantilly, man. That's a yeah. that's a different topic. That's a different. That's, that's a, different. a different conversation hey, right there, man. It takes people like you to get to where you're trying to go. Because yeah. that lets you know. How serious people are. Yeah, like man. when they they make them drive that hour and a half drive just to get here, just to shoot the pod. Yeah, man. Cause you know I mean? to keep it a bean. Yeah. I had so many, I had so many things that I bad habits was kicking in my brain, bro. Yeah. Of just backing out of things. Cause that was that, that back of that head. That back of the to head you. was like, yeah. yo, find something. Like, yo, we got to reschedule. Yeah. We got to do something. And that that's that's on me. That's something that I've been working with, and that's way better now. Mm-hmm. But I would talk myself out of something so quick. Easily. Easily, but... We good at that. Yeah. Virgo's definitely good at that. Oh, man. But since I said yes to that one thing, yeah. I've been saying yes to everything, bro. Yeah, man. That's legal and yeah. that's proper. That got morals. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> I, man, I appreciate you, man. Like that, we are out. <laughs>